Hello, hello, good evening. How are you today, guys? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Denis. Hello, Oscar, Jonel. Good evening, teacher. Alta Guadalupe, Josael, and Jose Eduardo. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hey, how was your Monday? People said that this is the worst day of the week. Is it true? What do you think about Mondays? Do you like Mondays? Les gustan los lunes or you dislike this day? I don't like. I dislike. I dislike. I dislike. I dislike. And Dennis and Oscar, what do you think about Mondays? Do you like them? I'm fine. You're fine. That's great. Hello, Ileana. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. So today we are going to start working on the section number three. So the name of this section is how much is it? So we are going to talk about prices tonight and also about demonstrative pronouns. But before to start the class, let me ask you a question. Have you already started working on the platform? Section three exercises? During this week, we need to complete the section three and also you have to take the major exam. So keep that in mind, please, right? That is the work for this week. Do you have any question about the platform exercises? Questions, doubt? No, no problem there. Okay, if you don't have any question, let's start with the next class. So how much is it? Okay, how much is it? So welcome to the class number five. How much is it? What is the meaning of this question? What's the question? Okay, excellent. How much is it? So let's start with the lesson objectives for tonight. So we have two objectives. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstrative while shopping. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, this, that, and those to express possible choices. Those are the goals for tonight. So let's start with this. Can you help me please with this? How do you read this? Prices. Let's see the first one. Any volunteer to read the first one? Twenty-five dollars. Thank you so much. You said twenty-five dollars. And what about this other one? How do you read this price? Any volunteer to read this price? Okay, me, $95.99. Thank you so much, Eliana. What about the next one? This one. Any volunteer? $10.50. dollars con centavos. How do you say that in English? Okay, there are two ways uh, for reading prices in English. The first one is like the one Ileana read before. So you say $95.99. Then the second form is without saying dollar and cent. So you say $95.99. Let's see, for example, this other one, you say $10.50. 
or you can say ten dollars. Sorry, ten fifty. Ten fifty. The other one, seventy five dollars eighty eight cents or seventy five eighty eight. The last price here, forty nine dollars twenty five cents, or you can say forty nine twenty five. So those are the two ways to say prices in English. So, ¿qué podría costar $25? What would you buy with $25? ¿Qué productos podría comprar con esta cantidad de dinero? Can you tell me? A white shoes. The shoes. Oh, you say a pair of shoes. A shirt. A, a shirt. Una camisa. Uh, what about a jean? Can I buy a pair of jeans with $25? Yes. Or, yes, right. And what about $95.99? Yes, I can buy this quantity. O que podría comprar con eso with ninety five dollars ninety nine cents. The phone, a phone, and a smartphone. A smartphone, sorry, a smartphone. A beautiful shirt. Okay, a nice shirt. Shoes, I guess. A pair of shoes. Wait a the fee. A, a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes, excellent. And with $75.88, what would you buy with this money? A blender. Oh, that could be a blender. Okay, and then we have forty-nine dollars twenty-five cents. So you say a mixer. Uh what? Uh, an iron. So you can buy a lot of things, right? Or the food for a week, forty-nine dollars. So let's listen this conversation and look at the picture and tell me in which store these people are where are they in which store the couple where are they i think they are on um, in jewelry store okay they are the jewelry store yes so they're perfect for you that is the title of this small conversation. They are perfect for you. So let's listen this. We're going to listen and then we're going to practice. So let's click on play here. Second. Oh, look at those ear. Can you listen the conversation? Yeah, I listen. Yes. Okay, thank you. There we go. Oh, listen. look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, what are they looking for? What are they looking for? ¿Qué andan buscando? ¿Qué quieren comprar? What they are looking for? Any idea? So, what is the conversation about? What is A this conversation birthday about? Birthday present. Ah, okay, he is looking for a birthday present for the girl, right? And what did he buy? 
What did he buy at the end of the conversation? Earrings. He bought earrings, right? What was the price? What was the cost? $42. $42. Are they cheaper or expensive? Cheap or expensive? They are expensive. So, any new vocabulary in this conversation? Because, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. This red one, I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this mm, yellow is seen really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Great. Now pay attention to this word, please. Let's start with this. So what is the meaning of this word? Oh, look at those earrings, Marie. I'm sorry for that. So this. What's the meaning of this demonstrative pronoun? The meaning is estos. Okay, excellent. You say estos, right? That is plural. Estos, thank you. And those, look at those earrings. Okay, aquellos. Estos, then. Estos. So I have those and these. And let's see. That, that necklace isn't bad. What is the meaning of that? Es, es, eso. Estas. Ese. Eso. 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 Es, eso o ese, ¿verdad? That. And finally, let's see. This is this here. No, it isn't right. Este. Okay, then those are the name of the pronouns, right? I have this, this, that, and those. ¿Cómo lo vamos a utilizar? Lo vamos a ver en la siguiente slide. In the next slide, we are going to see that. But before to go to the next thing, I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try it? Thank you, I have Rebecca and any other volunteer who wants to help me practice in this conversation. Thank you so much, Esmeralda Guadalupe. So, Rebecca, you are Steve and Esmeralda, you are Maria. Can you please start the conversation, please? Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I am sure. No, this yellow one. Oh, this um, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. This one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's 42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent, thank you so much. Almost perfect job, thank you. Can you tell me please to pronounce this phrase? How do you pronounce this phrase? I'm not sure. Thank you so much. I'm not sure. Thank you. I'm not sure. Thank I'm you not so much. sure. Excellent, Esmeralda Guadalupe. Thank you. Josael, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Okay. Participate, Josael. Do you want to participate? Any volunteer to practice with Josael? Who went? Thank you, Denise. So, Osael, you are Steve. Uh, Denise, can you please read Maria's part, please? 
Okay. Okay. You can start. Okay, teacher. Oh, look and touch eating Maria. That is perfect for you. Those red ones. I'm not sure. No, yellow ones. Oh, geez, I'm yellow. Isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? Isn't forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Now, let's see. How do you pronounce this? Can you have a place? How do you pronounce this word? Necklace. Necklace. Thank you so much. Well, that necklace is a bad. Necklace. Necklace. Okay. Also pay attention to this question. Which one? Which one? The yellow ones. These red ones. So we are going to learn how to use that in the next thing. Thank you so much, Janelle, Esmeralda, and Josael. Josael and Dennis, right? So let's see. Kirama focus. Demonstrative and also one in ones. So how much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? Or how much is this one? ¿Cuánto cuesta este collar? ¿Cuánto cuesta este collar? Right? This one. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? Eso significa, ¿verdad? This, que el objeto lo tengo en la mano o lo puedo tocar. How much is this necklace? Este. If I say, how much is that necklace? Significa que está lejos de mí el objeto. ¿Cuánto cuesta ese collar? Or how much is that one? Then the answer, which one? ¿Cuál? We are going to use which when we have auction. Utilizamos which cuando tenemos opciones. Then which one? ¿Cuál? Then you say the blue one, the yellow one, the green one. So you have auction. Then we can use which. How much are these earrings? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos aritos? So again, it means that you can touch the object. So, los tiene en la mano o los puede tocar. This, estos. Then we have those earrings. Eh, esos. Esos. No los puedo tocar. Están lejos de mí. How much are those earrings? Which one? The yellow one. Otra cosa que debemos de tener en consideración con los demostrative pronouns is this. Is and that are for singular. And also one. Which one? Is and those and ones is for plural. So here we have this information about prices. Let's see if we can read this $42. $59.95 or $59.95. So, hay las dos formas de leer los precios. ¿verdad? En una dice dólares y centavos. Y la otra solo los números. $59.95. This one is the most common. Without saying dollars in cents. So, let's listen this information. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? 
The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices. Forty two dollars. Fifty nine ninety five or fifty nine dollars and ninety five cents. As you realized, we're talking about the monster. Do you have any question now on this part? Question? Uh, yes, I have a question. Tell me, Marco, what is your question? Okay. Lo voy a decir en español para complicarme mucho. Cuando estamos utilizando once, once, entonces solamente lo podemos utilizar en el ejemplo de que dice how much are en el, digamos, en el ejemplo que dice which ones, the yellow ones, solo ahí, digamos, no lo podemos utilizar como en el que dice how much are these earrings or these. No podemos decir, por ejemplo, how much are ones. Or... Ok, no, solo lo utilizamos para cuando tenemos opciones. Acá las dos opciones que tengo, how much are these earrings or how much are these. Y lo, lo tocamos o lo mostramos. And how much are those earrings? And how, or how much are those? Then el ones solo lo utilizamos cuando nos preguntan cuál queremos. ¿Qué opción vamos a tomar? Which one? The yellow one. Let's see, for example, if you are buying a pair of shoes. Y hay de color negro y de color café. So, which one? Then you say the black one. Or the brown one. Solo en esta parte de acá. En cambio, en singular, si sí podemos decir this one, that one. ¿Ok? Sí. Muchas gracias. Yeah. No more question. Then let's continue. Bye, bien. So, this is an apple. So it means that the apple is near, right? And I can touch it. Then let's see, that is an apple. It means that the apple is far from me. And these are apples. Estas son manzanas and those are apples. Están lejos, but as utilizamos these, that, these, and those. Okay? No question in this part. And remember, these and that is for singular, and these and those for plural. Let's take a look at this information. So we use one and one when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Is that your card? You say which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to practice? Thank you, Dennis. And let me see. I have David. Thank you. So, David, you are A. Dennis, you are B. Is that your card? Which one? The red or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. So don't forget that we use which one when we have options. Tenemos opciones, but which, cuál. Then take a look at this. Let's practice this small conversation. How much is this blouse? Which one? The red one or the white one? Say the white one. Yet, how do you read this price? Mm -hmm. How do you read this price? Anyone here? 56 and 14 cents. Okay, 56. 48 or la otra opción sería 56 dollars 48 cents. Thank you, Denise and Rebecca. Thank you so much. You wouldn't need to practice in this small conversation. Who wants, who wants to practice? 
Thank you, Marco. And any other volunteer? Thank you, Ili. Thank you so much. So, Marco, you are A. Iliana, you are B. Okay. How much is this blouse? Which one? The red one or the white one? The white one. It's $56.48. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with the next example. How much are these bananas? Which one? The, the small ones or the big ones? The big ones, they are. How do you read this price? Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Okay, two seventy five. Okay, what's wrong with this conversation? There is a mistake there. What is it? What is the mistake? Can you notice it? The person in in letter A is asking for bananas in plural, and letter B in answer. He asked which one, and it would be which ones. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me help with this. Just a second. Yes, you are right. So it must say which one, because we're talking about bananas, right? which is plural. Very good. So let's go with this. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Let me see. I have Ili and Esmeralda Guadalupe. Thank you. Ili, you are A. Esmeralda, you are B. So let's start. Okay, teacher. Um, how much are these bananas? Wheat. Ones, the small ones or the big ones? The big ones. They are two dollars and seventeen five cents. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next. How much is that pineapple? Which one? The yellow one or the green one? The yellow one. It's on sale. It's 40 35. So now, how much is that pineapple? Está tocando la señora la manzana o no la está tocando? How much is that pineapple? Si la tiene cerca. Ok. Is that right? Esa. How much is that pineapple? Thank you. Do you want to practice in this small conversation? You wouldn't hear how much is that pineapple? Thank you so much. I have Esmeralda Guadalupe and Vanessa. And then we're going to listen to Jose Eduardo. Esmeralda, you are A. Vanessa, you are. How much is the pineapple? Which one, the yellow one or the green one? The yellow one. It's on sale, it's 435. Excellent, thank you so much, Vanessa and Esmeralda Guadalupe. So can you help me to pronounce this word, please? How do you pronounce this, guys? Who wants to help me? Pineapple. Okay, thank you. Say pineapple. Thank you. And what about pineapple. this expression? What about this expression? It's on sale. It's on sale. Thank you. It's on sale. Very good job. Thank you so much, Vanessa and Esmeralda. Now let's explain Jose Eduardo and any other volunteer to practice with Jose Eduardo who wants, who wants to practice. Thank you, Denise. Thank you so much. Okay, 
Y José Eduardo, you are A, Denise, you are B. So let's start. Okay. How much is that pineapple? Which one? The yellow one or the green one? Yellow one. It's on sale. It's at 43 15 cents. Thank five cents. Sorry, five cents. Okay. Thank you. It's four dollars thirty-five cents. That was perfect. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Eduardo, and also Vanessa and Esmeralda Guadalupe. In this exercise, let's go with this. How much are those sunglasses? Which one? The black one or the light blue one? The black one, they are $100. Okay, tell me what is the mistake now in this conversation? There is one. Which one? Which one? Which one? Just that. There are a lot of mistakes, so you have to find it. At least four mistakes. Which are they? Or the light blue one. Yes, you have found three. What is the other one? Tell me to find them. Any other? Okay, let me write them here. So how do you spell sunglasses in English? Can you help me? How do you spell sunglasses in English? Any volunteer? S. S. U. U. N. N. G. G. L. A. S E S. Is it correct? And have not two S, really? Okay, it has double it here. Sunglasses. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now here we need to add an S. Which one? Because it's plural, then we say the black one. We need to add another S here. The light, the black ones or the light blue ones, because it's plural, and also we need that is here ones. Now it's right. They are. How do you pronounce this number? One hundred. One hundred dollars. Thank you. To volunteer to practice in this conversation. Thank you, Jonel and Marco. Thank you. So, Rebecca, you are A. Marco, you are B. How much are those glasses? Which ones? The black ones or the light blue ones? The black one. There are 100. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now help me to complete this. Just a second, I'm going to raise those notes. Okay. Okay, plural or singular. So you can, can you complete these sentences using this, that, these, or those? Let's see, number one. Esa es mi casa, how do you say that? Which the most of the pronouns do you need? Esa es mi casa. That. That. That my house. Okay. Let me write the answer. You say that. That's my house. What about this one? 
estos son mis carros. This are this. Okay. This. These are my cars. These are my cars. Esos son mis jeans. Those, those are, are, are machines. Okay, those, those are. are. And este es mi smartphone. This is my this yeah. right, this it's is, my smartphone. This is my smartphone. Very good. No question in this part? No. No, then let's go to the next exercise. I have another exercise for you. Oh, I have this picture here. Okay, now let's practice prices. So, how much are those sunglasses? So, just say a price, right? El precio que usted crea que puede tener esta prenda de vestir. How much are those sunglasses? This way. Any volunteer to answer? They are in 125 dollars. Okay, it's a there. Can you please repeat? $125. Okay, thank you so much, David. Okay, give me a second. Okay, the next, the shoes. How much? How much are those shoes? $100. Okay, there. $200. They are too expensive. What about the short? How much is it? How much is that short? It's $30. Okay, it's $30. And what about the guitar? How much is this guitar? That that is one hundred. One hundred dollars. One hundred. It, it's two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Yes. And what about the stock? How much are those stock? They are they are ten dollars. Ten dollars. And what about the poster here? It's five dollars. Five dollars. Okay, now nice. let's go to the next picture. Now I need a volunteer to ask the question. Who wants? Who wants to try asking the question? Tell me, who wants to practice asking the question? Any volunteer? How much uh, is this a uh, pair of shoes? And you want to answer? How much is this pair of shoes? They are fifteen dollars. Okay, they are fifteen dollars. Okay, is dollars really fifteen? <laughs> okay, what about this one? It is a second hand. Ah, okay, they are second hand shoes. That could be. Oh, what about this belt? Any volunteer to ask the question? How much is that belt? Any volunteer to answer? It's $25. Thank you so much. What about the smartphone? Any volunteer to ask the question? How much that phone? 
Okay, how much is that smartphone? It's, it's $200. Okay, David, thank you. And Carlos, what's your answer? It is on $25. $25? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about this car? Car? Anyone until to ask the question? It is 50 cents. 50 cents? Uh, yes. Nah, okay. It's the lagachon, the shopping. How what about this? The question, please. How, do How much are those sunglasses? Thank you, Yonel. Thank you so much. And how much are those sunglasses? Then the answer is. The rate is $55. $55. Okay. The last one. What about this? This watch. Rebecca, How much? Know? Okay. I have a question. Tell me. How do you spell the bufanda? Oh. Okay. Scarf. Scarf. This is the word. Okay, very good. Then let's come back to the watch. The question, please. Any volunteer to ask the question? Come on, let's go. Do it. It's $40. It's $40. Great. Okay, this is the last one. So let's take a look at this outfit. Would you like to buy this thing? Gustaría comprar estos artículos? We have an iPhone here, a Casio watch, wallet, these shoes, and this black t-shirt. They are pretty good, right? pretty good items. So how much are those shoes? How much are those shoes? $65. $65? What about this wallet? How much is it? It's $45. Okay, and what about the iPhone? It's $90. Nine hundred dollars. Too expensive. It's support. Yes, it is. And what about this T-shirt? It's seventy dollars. Twenty-nine dollars. Twenty-nine dollars. Twenty-nine dollars. Could be in the sunglasses. How much are those sunglasses? They are $35. They are $35. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to finish with the presentation, but we are going to work in the breakout rooms. So uh, let's see. Can you find at least four, four articles or five items? I didn't understand pueden encontrar cuatro cosas. Your notebook, your pen, your, your glasses, your sunglasses, your smartphone, your earphones or headphones. Let's see, for example, I have this pen, I have this smartphone, my bottle of water. 
So let me know if you're ready, please. Three ready. or four. Okay, three or four things. Your watch, your wallet. So then uh, you are going to share uh, with your classmates. Uh, you show your things. Let's see, for example, uh, how much is this? How much is this? One dollar. One dollar. Okay, one dollar. Okay, I don't know. Wait, a student he gave it to me, so I don't know what is the real price. To say one dollar. Okay, so cool. Then you are going to practice that, right? Question and answer with your classmates. Is it clear the activity? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Practice, practice, and don't forget please to greet your classmates, right? Eh, cuando entren a los grupos no se olviden de saludar a sus compañeros right? practice your English so hello, good evening how are you, you Nell and how are you and no vayamos solo al ejercicio ¿verdad? salud, se pregúntele cómo está, cómo estuvo su día ok so practice right? have a conversation and have fun with your classmates so here we go you are going to have six minutes to complete this exercise. So we are 14 now. Okay. Mm, are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So practice a lot with your classmates and enjoy the activity. So you are going to have six minutes. Here we go. Osael, Claudia, recibieron la invitación para el grupo. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Claudia. Osael. Ah, ok, perfecto.
como que fancy. Lo mismo, vale. Okay. <laughs> How much? Huh? How much is that cell phone? Cell phone, okay. A cell phone, sería, if it's, it's, uh, para mí es 100. Okay. And what about me? Huh? <laughs> Ya me puse nerviosa el teacher. Ah, continuo practicando. Me cuesta, hello, me cuesta, hello. 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 Ah, oh, sí. don't worry, we are practicing, we are learning sí. here. So. Sí, así es. So, okay, so don't be afraid of making mistakes, right? Remember that mistakes are part of the process, right? If we don't, if we never try to we never improve, right, in the language. So we need to practice, even if we make mistakes, right? So continue doing. How much is your teacher, David? My teacher is $20. Okay. How much are your headphones, Claudia? Uh, Sonia, it's, it's um, $25. Okay, you say they, they are, they are $25. Uh, they are $25. Okay, excellent. And what about the picture that behind you? How much is it? Pintura. Ah, it's just your. Ah, okay. Just your. Es mi pasera. Ah, okay. Es real, solo que le tomé una foto. Really? Beautiful. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Some fish. And I can see a lot of fish there. Yeah. Okay. David dice que están buenos para la sopa ya. <laughs> sí, ya están grandes. I can ya see. Están them. Big. They Enseña. are big. They are big. They yes. are big. <laughs> They are cute, David. Okay. Continue practicing, right? And what about your blows? How much is it, Claudia? Dígame. How much is your blows? Blows. Mi, ah, perdón. My blog sería. Tengo que usar aquí are o it. It's. Sí, si it's es singular o utilizamos uno. it. Ajá, si es sí, plural, eso es lo que me, me confundo. Vale, entonces sería it's eh, six dollars. Ok, excelente. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So, continue okay. practicing, Ray. How much okay. is your car? How much is your house? Okay, sería, vamos a ver. How much is your sun? <laughs> How much are your sunglasses? Yes, the glasses sí serían are, ¿no? Porque yes. se plural. Yeah. They are, it's plural. They, they are. They are uh, Sería $20. $20. $25. $25. Oh. $25. Okay, excellent. Yes. So continue practicing. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish the exercise with your classmates? 
terminaron de practicar con sus compañeros. Yeah. I finished. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's great. So to finish the class, let's have a, let's take a look at this exercise. It is on the platform. So let me know, please, if you have already completed. Ya completaron este ejercicio. Yes, I completed. Just the check. Okay, let's take a look at this. Excuse me, how much? What is the right option here? How much are these? How much are those? How much is those? Are those? Are those? Are those? ¿Cuál sería la menos probable de estas tres? Is those? Is those? Is those? So are those? Ah, excuse me. How much are those jeans? Which <laughs> one? Or oh, which one? <laughs> or oh, which are? Which one? Which ones? Is it correct? Once. Okay. Once. Once, because we are talking in plural right thing. So no the light blue. Once. Once. Once again. Oh. They eat we. They. 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 They are. I like that backpack over there. How much? Is it? Is it? How much is it? Then which one? The red one. The red one and the last one. It's twenty-seven fifty, but the green. One, one. Is only 22, 25. So let's see if you're right in this part. In this one, you are right. So do you have any question about the nice class? How to use the monthly pronoun? These, that, these, and those. Question? Do you have any question? No question, Marco. Okay. Okay, just to say thank you for the people who participate tonight. I have Jonel, Esmeralda Guadalupe, Josael, Dennis, Rebecca, Marco, Eli, Vanessa, David, and David, right? And I have Jonel, Esmeralda Guadalupe, and Dennis with more participation. Thank you so much for your help during this class. Okay, then if you don't have any other question, just remember that you have to complete section number three and also to take the midterm exam during this week. Thank you so much for being here with me, guys. See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. It's a little well. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.